back to the NATO summit in Madrid now. Ukraine is set to dominate the conversation between world leaders and political editor Darren McCaffrey has been speaking to Ukrainian MP Alex Goncharenko uh, on just how the bloc can help Ukraine prevail against the Russians. Just first of all, I mean, you've clearly come to Madrid for this NATO summit. I mean, how easy is it to get in and out of Ukraine? It's not very easy because uh, the sky is shut down. So we should find the closest airports in the neighboring countries. So it's not easy. But when something is important, it should be done. This is clearly very important. What, what are you hoping to see, though, today and tomorrow? What do you want to see NATO leaders do? In general, I want to see uh, the unity of the free world uh, against these threats that now are on the table and uh, clear, clear real, realizing of the free world that Russia is an enemy. Russia is a big threat. And uh, you cannot just sit and wait that something will change. No, you should react. So you should be brave like Ukraine. You should uh, do something. Uh, that's what I want to see. Partly, I already saw it. Uh, the decision about Sweden and Finland is very important and very good. But I am waiting for more decisions about, for example, weaponry delivery to Ukraine. Because still it's absolutely not sufficient. The last uh, announcement, which was made yesterday by Mr. Ministry of Defense of Germany, she said, yes, we will do it. We will give Ukraine three more self-propelled howitzers. We have 1,000 miles front line. So we are very thankful for three self-propelled howitzers is better than zero. But they can't make difference in such quantities. Is this ultimately all then just about weapons? What you need is more and more weapons? Uh, today, it's the moment when we are speaking with you and my, my compatriots are killed in the Donbass. They, is, is this exactly moment? Each day we are losing some days hundreds of our people. So it means that for us it is the question of survival just today. So what we need is weaponry, but certainly not only. Second thing is sanctions. Speaking about sanctions, I just want to remind you that Russia still every day receives one billion dollars per day for fossil fuel, per day. And uh, with such money, they can afford this war forever. And uh, n n never ever that will be ended. So that's something that should be changed. Um, th so that is the most important things. It and also, like speaking, we are on the summit of NATO. I'm very happy about Finland and Sweden, absolutely. Uh, I, that is a, a historical thing. But why Ukraine uh, is not moving ahead? Why Ukraine is not receiving membership action plan on this summit, like a next step to joining. And I think that is something from what not only uh, Ukraine will benefit, but NATO too. Ukraine is uh, one of the strongest armies in the world. Now everybody understands it. Ukraine is a breadbasket, not only Europe, but of the world. So I mean, together we are stronger. And that's the moment to unite the free world.